Hey heroes, welcome back. Sir Ezra and Sir Matt discussing the Wheel of Time Amazon Prime TV show. And we've been kind of going episode by episode. We know that there's going to be eight episodes. We are currently on six in our discussion. And literally just hours before this, we have more casting announcements. We have an interview that kind of changed my mind about a few things. So this is wild. Um, the title of this, Sir Matt, is supposed to be like the Flame of Tarvalin, I believe. Right. Um, for episode six, yeah. Yeah, so we've talked about this before. And um, one of the things I had said was I think that um episode five and episode six are both going to be kind of that well obviously if we're going on like a theoretical four chat four episodes per book kind of pace which may or may not be the case but that's certainly what it kind of seems like with with the eye of the world um just with the episode titles right uh you know you kind of as, as you get to the beginning of the great hunt you kind of start to as we do split up again and you really kind of have matt or you have rand and and everybody chasing down the horn right and then you have kind of Egwene, nynaeve right and they're training right they're doing kind of their eyes to eye training so i think yeah. this i kind of thought what this episode is going to be is that it's going to be more of that focus on um Egwene and Nynaeve, right? Like this will be where Nynaeve's trial is, right? Where she has the trial mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. and she kind of has the visions of all these different lives she could live, right? Yes. Like one where she, one where she sees what's happened at Edmund's field when she mm -hmm. left, right? And she was their wisdom. Um, and then one with a possible life with Lan. Um, so I think that's going to be kind of her thing. Um, and then really the big kicker is if you wanted to, you could do it earlier, but I mean, do you, is this where, is this, if it's, there's two other characters who could be pretty prevalent in this, not just a Gwen and, uh, oh, yeah. oh yeah. Not just, not just a Gwen and, and, and Nynaeve, yeah. it uh -huh. could be Elaine and Elaine, Min, right? Min, uh -huh. and Min, are they going to be, are they going to be kind of featured in this? Right. Yeah, I know, man. I, I, so one of the things that's, that's been, uh, kind of just mind boggling as I hear about, oh gosh, in, in, in the eye of the world, we keep hearing about the IO war. I'm going to come back to your point because I'm driving towards Avienda here. Okay. Uh, you brought, you brought up Elaine, you brought up men. And so I'm, I'm going to throw this in here as well, but I, it's, it's the flame of Tarvalin. So we are talking about six, but I've been thinking more and more about how things are going to be so different. Um, we've been told by Rafe Judkins that there is going to be an IEL, uh, in season one that is going to blow our minds. And I'm wondering who that's going to be, you know? So it's just, uh, it's a little bit of a shot. I don't know how that's going to work or, or how that's going to play into all this. But then you bring up like Elaine and men, you know, yeah, we'll see them. I also think you're going to see, you remember in the beginning of the great hunt when Rand is sort of brought before the Omerlin seat, right? And you have Moraine and Suan kind of talking about right. the dragon reborn and what the prophecies mean. They kind of bring Varen into the fold there. Um, Varen now knows and is going to, you know, chase after, um, Rand. And we, we learned that Moraine didn't send Varen. Varen was just curious. She's of the Brown Aja and she goes after Rand. So like, I think we're going to get introduced to all of those type of characters, but a part of me just kind of wondered, is Avienda going to be there? Like, are they going to do something crazy where they just like, it's not in the books and they're just going to, you know, change, th change things up a little bit. Um, cause I know you and I have talked a little bit about like the Aiel and, uh, We've done these episodes before where uh, that's one of the things going forward. You know, Matt understands that's a character that's coming in to this series um, at some point, And that's sort of a big character for Rand and for this whole story. And I think it makes more sense that you would want to introduce that character earlier on and that you would want Elaine and men. It's important that they're in season one. Right. You know. Right. So yeah. I, 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 I'm and just thinking they have to be there. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I mean it, it's it's gonna be it's gonna be interesting, and especially this episode, um, because I think the next two episodes, right? I mean, so if you're finishing it under the idea that we finish the Great Hunt in mm -hmm. season one, right? So season one would be the the end of it, which I as as we just finished with our podcast, I think that'd be the perfect place to end it, right? I yeah. um I actually think more and more finishing season one with the end of the Great Hunt sets us at a good place in the story. Um, I think it's a it's a much kind of crazier, bigger ending than the Eye of the World. Um, yeah. So yeah, because you and I at one point were thinking, well, maybe they maybe they cut to like the middle of the Great Hunt, and that's the end of season. 
Right. That's the end and end of end of season one. And so I was like, ah, no, I don't, I don't, I don't. Now we're now I, one. I, I think it is. This is a better place to end it. And two, um, just based on some of the episode titles and things people have saying. So, um, you know, so the next two episodes I think are pretty straightforward. So this one is really that kind of one. And again, I think you know we saw this in Game of Thrones, right? And and just other shows too. You have these characters. We have so many characters, and they spread all across the world. Um, you have to give them all time and. I think I think it'll just happen. I think there, you know, there's going to be episodes, right? And this happens in the books too. I mean, you go away from kind of Nynaeve and 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 mm-hmm. and them and Nynaeve and Egwene for a bit, and then you come back to them, and then they have like a, a series of like three or four chapters in a row, right? So because you got to build, because you got to build towards that last episode, right? So the, the Great Hunt, the um, you know, you you you're going back and forth, and then at the end, it's like you have these two separate stories that are happening at the same event, right? Where like Egwene is mm-hmm. captured and they're yeah. rescuing her, but then Rand's doing his stuff. But he's like, hold on, was that Egwene, right? Did right, I, like, right. Did yes. I pass her? So it'll be kind of cool to have that all happening in like a big climactic, climactic finish um, in the final episode. So I think, you know, you kind of go Rand heavy in episode five and his kind of his kind of stuff, right? Where they find Padon Fane and he's killed the the Murdral and oh, they don't find him, but they he was just there and he right so that's kind of where i think we said episode five is probably gonna end episode six i think is a bigger um kind of Egwene naive episode and then episode seven will kind of cut back to ran and those guys and then it'll all kind of come together back in see episode eight yeah absolutely let me throw a curveball at you you ready for this oh God. yeah <laughs> here we go so i just got to thinking as we finished up the the great hunt we just we what was it last week we finished for the podcast we kind of got through that and, uh, you, you know, you loved the ending, but I remember at one point during part four or five, you kind of said to me, where's Moraine? What happened to Moraine? Yeah. She was, yeah. You know, so you think about, she like, does, she does just kind of disappear. For so I, I, you think about what well, Varen kind of feel, fills that role, right? As someone who's mm-hmm. guiding Rand through, um, Kyrian and through the portal stones and is with Ingtar and the, the, you know, the whole thing, it's, it's interesting. We do get a chapter where. Moraine is essentially kind of studying the prophecies of the dragon and learning and is out there doing her own thing. And we don't see her again until the very end of the book. Now, talk about differences between TV show and book. Do you think, what if we'll instead of... stuff? Well, I'm just thinking, what if instead of... Well, yeah, they might actually kind of show us more of what Moraine was going through. We know she was attacked by a Drakkar, um, you know, there when she's seeking this information. But... You know, Varen is a is a really important character, but what if Moraine for season one is sort of still sticking around with um, Rand and company? You know, and, and we she's don't, the one, and we don't, and we don't include Varen, and we don't include that's Varen okay. I, because that's possible I, too. I keep hearing them say things like, you know, uh, Moraine's going to be the main character of this, and is going. I mean, I imagine she's in almost every single episode, and if. And again, maybe we're just not, again, we have no idea how they've got this sequenced out. But when you think of the Great Hunt, I mean, she's there uh, she's a real, yeah, in the beginning. So, I mean, I just don't see her being gone for episodes seven and eight, you know, and because uh, right now we're talking in episode six, we're talking about going to the tower and seeing what's going on there. Well, Moraine is like splits off from everybody and goes and does her own thing. She doesn't go back to the tower. And that's the big yeah. deal is that they, they wanted um, Suan to bring Moraine back. She had been gone from the, the, the tower too long. She just disappears. So I, yeah, I'm that's, just like, what's up with that? Yeah, that's totally, totally a possibility. I mean, yeah, again, not every character we meet is going to make it in, in into the show. I mean, it's just, it's just possible. You know, you and I have talked about, um, I think Inktar is is going to be in there, um, but we, we you and I have talked about Huron might be cut, right? Like, yeah, uh, you, yeah. May, you may just not need him because, right, you know, you right. kind of have Perrin and you can kind of shift that in because you can't cast every character. It's just it's too big. There's yeah. just there's too much. There's too much. There's too much content. Um, obviously, the big characters are gonna are you know are gonna be are are gonna be in there. So yeah, yeah, I, I'm with you. I th- I think I think you probably could. I mean, I I, I I'm with you. Baron may not make it in and maybe you just have Moraine kind of fill some of that uh fill 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 some of that and maybe just land goes off for a bit right um well, yeah and, and I was thinking too they might just some of Moraine's story well you really can't I mean th- there's this uh, chunk of yeah, time where, where, where you really can't move any of that unless you are showing her learning about more things you take things that she learns later in the series and you move them forward and, and you show her kind of learning those things separate from uh, Matt, Rand, and Perrin, 
and you allow Varen to go with them and sort of be that that guide in the Great Hunt. I I would love to hear what people think about that. Like if I've been hearing in like the Daily Trolloc Reddit and I've been kind of reading through some of these different things where the idea is that season one is going to cover the first two books and even some of New Spring, but yet Moraine is going to be the center, like this, she's this main character. We're going to, she's going to be our guide from start to finish. She's the, you know, the guide by the side and your Gandalf, if you will. Now, I mean, again, in Fellowship, we lose Gandalf. Okay, so yeah. Gandalf goes away. I mean, Moraine, maybe something happens and she's she's taken away from us. And those last couple episodes, we have to finish that on our own, which very much could be what they're going to do. So, yeah. Yeah, I'm with you. I'm with you. Yeah. This episode again. Yeah. Ending wise, I I, I, I think the majority of the content in this episode is going to be a Gwaine Nynaeve training. Right. And I, I think I think the big I think the big thing is going to be Nynaeve's trial. I think that'll be the big True. kind of chunk of this episode that's going to be the what's going on uh yeah. kind of a thing we have to learn the the dynamics we have to understand what it means to go through you know um the the, the trial or the the accepted test to become accepted and learn what it means you know for elaine to be there and for them to build up a friendship we have to have time for that and we have to understand yeah, you know, all the different roles. There is a lot of different positions and there's a hierarchy in the White Tower. So we need time to do that. And this may be the episode where we learn a little bit about that and we kind of, you know, uh, shift away from Rand and company and, and go focus on them. So I'm with you. I think it's interesting. I do want to hear what people think, though, about this Moraine uh, business and maybe how they're going to handle what happens to her in The Great Hunt. So leave us a comment down below. Let us know what you think um please like please subscribe thanks for being here and remember that the grave is no bar to our call